With the hurricane, it has been a tough year, and it seems everywhere you look, someone is in need of something. And tonight was Cape Coral Together Resilience Rally, an effort to give back after the storm. Music, food, and fun, all for a good cause. The Night Beats Just In Case joins us live as the event is just wrapping up at the German American Social Club off Pine Island Road. Justin, quite the turnout there. Yeah, huge turnout. The parking lot was packed. There was barely any parking left here. And hundreds of people came out to the concert venue. You can actually see some of them packing up right now. They're just getting their things over uh, out of here. This concert wrapped up just a few minutes ago. But the real winners here are the, the organizations benefiting from this event. Not just a fun night out. Tonight was really about helping local food banks, animal shelters, and veteran organizations. A fun event to help people take their minds off a difficult year. Today was about reminding people of how much they've overcome since Hurricane Ian. I think sometimes after the initial um, storm happens, then sometimes, you know, things kind of lull a little bit. So it's really important to keep these things going and stop. Instead of paying an entry fee, people were asked by the city of Cape Coral to offer a helping hand to the local organizations giving a helping hand to the community. I grew up in a family of 13, and I know what it's like to go without sometimes. So, um... I think I just know that people are hurting. Groups benefiting include the Cape Coral Caring Center and the Cape Coral Animal Shelter. Our biggest challenge was after the hurricane. So many people lost everything. Many people had to move. They moved into places where they could no longer have their animals. So we took in so many owner surrendered animals after the hurricane. Very, very sad. Executive Director Liz McCauley says donations are also down, both monetary and supply donations. So the help they're getting from this event means more animals they can help moving forward. Anybody who wants to keep their animal and who is happy and loves their animal, we want them to keep it. So if they need any kind of care for their animal, they need to come ask us and we'll do everything we can to help them. In addition to food banks and animals, money was also raised for the Order of the Purple Heart, a local group helping combat veterans and Purple Heart recipients. They just helped a Vietnam veteran with cancer who lost his home on Fort Myers Beach. He said to me, I want this house fixed for my boys to have if something happens to me. And he's in treatment still. And for some of these local organizations, like the Cape Coral Animal Shelter, they said even if you couldn't get out here tonight, even if you can't donate money, they said you can still donate time and volunteer, and that goes a long way. We have links to some of these organizations for you on WinkNews.com. Live on the night beat, just in case, Wink News. Looks like a good time out there. Thank you so much, yeah. Justin. And a lot of organizations doing some great work yeah. helping people as well.